Do you have flat feet? Today I'm going to be showing you guys three exercises to help your flat feet. I'm Dr. Aaron McNally with Revival Performance Physical Therapy and I'm going to help you learn about your flat feet and learn how to get a better arch so that you don't have as flat of feet and you have some better support in your foot. So first exercise I'm going to do is uh, called a towel scrunch. So super simple. All you're going to do is you're going to get your heel on the ground, not on the towel, and then get your toes on the towel and you're gonna use your arch and all those little bitty muscles in your feet to kind of scrunch that up and then relax. Scrunching that up and then relax. So it's kind of like a hungry, hungry hippo game here with your foot. So just reaching out, grabbing that with your foot, crunching that up. You see how it creates that arch? I almost feel a little bit of a cramp in there, which is really good. Trying to crunch that up all the way like that. So just do this until basically you get tired in the in the arch holding it just like this and then as it comes up you can put it back out and start back over just doing just like that if you don't have a towel just scrunch scrunch your foot just like that so second exercise is some calf raises but a little bit different than just a normal calf raise i imagine if you have some uh, weak arches and your foot kind of pronates in like this. Pronation meaning that arch collapses like this. Pronation, supination, pronation, supination. So I imagine when you do your calf raise, you're gonna go up and then you're gonna go over there on your peaky toes and your arches are gonna go just like this. This isn't what we want. We wanna work with some of these muscles deep in our foot that support the arch. Like your flexor hallucis longus, which goes to this big toe. So as you go, think about pushing through your big toe so that you go straight up like this and straight back down. Before you do any of these exercises, as much as you can, try to spread your toes out as much as you can and then push through your big toe and then back down. So notice this is, this is right, this is wrong. So push through that big toe so that you're using some of the muscles there on the inside of your arch that go up in here to your calf and then they help support the arch going right across that plantar fascia and all that area. So third is arch holds. So for, all you're gonna do here is first, kind of pin your big toe down, spread your toes out, just so like this, spread your toes as wide as you can, and then try to pull that arch up. So it's kind of like a combination of that um, towel scrunch, but you're just pulling that arch up just like that as your toes are as wide as you can get. Hold that until you get a good cramp, and then kind of shake it out. Then pin your big toe down, spread those toes as wide as you can get, create that arch in your foot, hold that for as long as you feel comfortable, and then relax, shake it out. Also, let me show you from this side. So pin that big toe down, widen those toes as much as you can, pull that arch up, keep some pressure on your foot if you can, but all while maintaining that arch in your foot so you're not letting it go down. So you notice when you do that, your knee even rotates out and you're using some of your glute muscles. So when my arch goes down, my knee goes in. When my arch goes up, my knee straightens out. And so you can use some of those glute muscles to help with that. So do the prescribed amount and have fun.